Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I will be working with my uh, favourite colours, the darkened Prussian blue, turquoise, um, white, bronze and gold. Uh, haven't used them in a some weeks now, so um, it's time to have another go with them. So I'm still doing my negative space uh, paintings. Um, I've grown to love them a lot. Uh, to me, it kind of, the negative space amplifies the um, beauty of the layers of colours and cells. Um, it makes a really nice contrast to the uh, single colour background. So I'm trying to think how to further develop this technique which will probably be my project for the summer um, summer holiday is going to be a bit weird this year uh, for two reasons one is that for the first time in uh, 14 years I'm not planning a holiday with a partner. Um, I'm moving into my own apartment. Me and my partner have split these last months. And I'm moving in a couple of weeks. So there will be some less art for, for the coming three to four weeks, I think, while I get my new apartment um, sorted out. There's a bit of uh, fixing to do uh, but it has a great second bedroom that will be my um, studio really looking forward to that um, better space than the room I'm in right now um, yeah. but yeah um, so I'm not planning a summer with my ex-partner. Also, uh, due to the corona, um, probably won't be able to travel anywhere outside of Norway, which I love to do in the summer. Um, so I'm not really... I have no idea what I'm going to do this summer. Um, working on getting my new apartment ready will take up a fair bit of time, but uh, I can't spend my entire summer holiday doing that. But we'll see. Anyway, um, three or four uh, layers of the colors I mentioned, turquoise, bronze, gold, darkened, uh, Prussian blue thalo, and white. So far, anyway. Oh, you should see. You should see close up the how the colors are blending, smooth bands. Oh, it's really nice. I have to be. I actually love the shape right now, so I need to be really careful tilting this one. Uh, 
also torching because it's so beautiful as it is so I don't want too many cells Oh, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it I'm about to lose well okay enough of me saying it anyway um, just adding a bit more of that Prussian phthalo just to kind of even the thickness of the paint I have to let that it's a good idea to do that before you start tilting as well uh, I realized uh, yes 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 because I don't want to lose much in either end I love how it goes uh, I'm just gonna move it back and forth actually a bit just a tiny bit to stretch those cells. Hmm, looks like there's a lump in there. Yep. Huh, good catch. Got that out of the way. Uh, okay. I think this is pretty much perfect. So, um, oh, now I realised I forgot to check if the canvas was level. So, doesn't seem to be running off that way or that way so hopefully hopefully it's good I'll take you down as well to have a look at some of the gorgeous details um, this is quite beautiful so look at this um, I love this. This could be this could be a painting all in itself for me. Just that bit. So delicate. So anyway, as you can tell when it's wet like this, it's really shiny and has a lot of reflections. It can be really hard to uh, make a decent photograph. I'm going to try. Uh, if I make it, I'll add it to the end so you can see see the painting um, because it will darken a bit um, when it dries. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, wish you a great couple of weeks. Hope you're doing well. Keep safe and take care. Bye bye.